Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. It's so great to see all your faces out there in YouTube land. I hope you're doing really, really well. And welcome to this, the next in our mini series of quick tips videos focused on the scuba regulator. So far we've covered basics of a first stage. We looked at piston versus diaphragm. In this video, we're gonna unbox two terms, balanced, versus unbalanced and what those mean for you when you go to buy your next scuba regulator. So I'm gonna head over to the workbench where I've got examples of each and break it down for you. You guys subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already through that little red button down there. I'll see you over there. We're making this series of videos so the next time you walk into a dive shop to purchase your next regulator, which is one of the more expensive investments of a scuba setup, you're armed with the knowledge and terminology so that when the salesperson comes at you and starts talking about overbalanced and diaphragmatically balanced and pneumatically balanced and environmentally balanced and all these kind of terms, you understand what they're rattling on about and you can decide whether or not you need to spend your money on these features. Balanced or unbalanced against what though? Well, specifically specifically two things. Number one, ambient pressure, and number two, falling cylinder pressure. To balance a regulator against ambient pressure, you need a way to transmit the ambient pressure to the regulator itself. The deeper we go, the higher the ambient pressure, and you want your regulator to deliver consistently easy breathing experiences at every depth of your dive. So that's normally achieved with a silicon cap at one end of the regulator that the water pressure applies itself to and translates that pressure to the internal mechanism of the first stage. The first stage then reacts by equalizing that pressure and meaning that the actual diaphragm can deliver a consistent intermediary pressure at any depth because it's working in coordination with the ambient pressure that you're exposed to. The second way that balanced is used when talking about first stage regulators is that it gives the same breathing experience at every cylinder pressure. So there's a big difference in the pressure being supplied when your tank is full, your cylinder's full at 3000 psi, as opposed to the end of the dive, you're getting back to the boat uh, around you know reserve pressure 500 psi. Your regulator needs to be balanced against that falling cylinder pressure and it does that normally pneumatically by delivering a hose around the valve and supplying gas to both sides of the piston or diaphragm. Now we talked about piston versus diaphragm last time out. There are piston regulators that are balanced, there are piston regulators that are unbalanced. Most diaphragm regulators, in fact I'm going to stick my neck out and say all modern diaphragm regulators are pneumatically balanced these days. What does that mean to you? Well like I said this regulator here being unbalanced will breathe worse the deeper you go and worse the lower your tank pressure gets. If you need to add a second diver onto this regulator, it's gonna still supply enough gas, but it's gonna be a worse breathing experience for both of you than a pneumatically balanced regulator where even if your cylinder pressure is low and your buddy has an out of air and you have to plug them onto your alternate, this will consistently give you a nice even breathing experience with no drop in performance. It obviously comes at a cost. This is a much more expensive regulator than a Mark II because there's a greater involvement in the machining and the technology and yeah, ka-ching. What can I tell you? You're also gonna hear terms like overbalanced or hyperbalanced, which are just marketing oxymoronic jargon that some idiot thought up. What they're really trying to tell you is the deeper you go, the better the breathing experience will be because it's gonna translate that ambient pressure and actually give you more gas the deeper you dive. But something can't be overbalanced. It's either in balance or it's out of balance. It can't be overbalanced or hyperbalanced. I just fundamentally disagree with that poor use of English. In summary then, a balanced regulator means that it's gonna give you a consistent breathing experience as your cylinder pressure drops as your dive goes on, or it means that it'll give you a consistent breathing experience the deeper you dive and the ambient pressure increases, you're gonna get the same or even slightly better breathing performance out of your regulator, or it means both. Unbalanced, the converse. You also have balanced Second stages, which is basically the same thing. It means it's pneumatically delivering gas to both sides of the diaphragm so that the inhalation effort required to move the diaphragm, to press on the needle, to deliver gas is equal to ambient pressure and as your cylinder pressure falls, delivers the same breathing experience. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Balanced versus unbalanced, those two terms 
unbox for you. And the reason I make these videos is that when you walk into a store to spend a lot of money on your next regulator, you understand those terms and it's not just marketing jargon that some salesperson is gonna batter you with. You actually know what you're talking about and you know what the technology is gonna to convert to for your diving. As always, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, what other videos can we make for you to help you better understand the equipment of scuba diving in this quick tips format. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name's James. This was your Divers Ready Quick Tips video for this week. Dive safe, dive often.